Hi, welcome to this video. My name is Marcus from Brew Interactive and, and I'm Aaron from HubSpot. And today we're here to talk about actionable marketing data to boost conversion and this is part two. Uh, so I'll start with tip number one. Um, so again, you don't need to have, uh, you know, like the sophisticated marketing CRM tool. You can actually do all this with GA, except the last tip over here, which I'm quite excited to share about. But tip number one is to look at your site speed, right? Uh, and this isn't some generic tip about you know, trying to optimize your website so that it loads faster and that kind of stuff. I'm sure you already know that. Uh, what I wanted to talk about is you want to look at your site speed based on your pages. So on Google Analytics, uh, there is a behavior, under behavior section, you can go to page timings. And then you can see in one column over there, which I'll have it somewhere on, on the screen right now, where you can see, okay, these are your total, this is your total average site speed. And then you can look at your different individual pages with the highest amount of traffic, mm -hmm. what is the page load time per each of those uh, page. Yep. So from there, you know, you can look at maybe your average uh, page load time is maybe about um, 15 seconds, for mm -hmm. example. And some of the high traffic pages load about, take about, I would say, more than 30 seconds to load. Maybe it takes about 45 seconds to load. So it's longer than your average uh, uh, site load time. So you know that there are some optimization things that needs to be done. For example, you can optimize the images. You know, you want to cache them, do all sorts of stuff so that it loads faster and so that it converts better. So that is tip number one of this. Yeah, now, site speed is super important, yeah. right? Just as important is a question that I often get yeah. from prospects or customers. Mm. How do we like, should we target at existing customer or new customer? Yeah. Meaning visitors, Yeah. right? So. I think what we need to look at over here is take a step back mm. and analyze our cost per acquisition yep. per customer versus LTV, yep. your lifetime value of mm -hmm. your product or your service, mm. right? So we need to understand how much is it's going to cost us, the business, to acquire a new customer versus tapping on to an existing customer to upsell and cross-sell them right. versus the money they're going to spend with us. Again, it's CAC, CAC. LTV, Correct. you need to know that ratio, right? For, so for a typical software business, mm. right? A good ratio is like one to five, Correct. right? In your business, it might be a bit different. So this is just to give you a bit of context, yep. right? So again, if you're um, acquiring, of, uh, acquiring your uh, existing customers to get them, uh, to upsell them, cross-sell them, it's yep. way cheaper. And they are giving you a lot of return in, yep. uh, in return that obviously like by all means, focus on them. Yep, right yep. for new customers if you know you guys are probably an e-commerce site yeah. or uh, uh, you know uh, that's selling mass products yep. yeah probably acquiring customers doesn't cost you guys too much yep. that means you need to sell by volume that yep. means you need a larger client base than acquiring new clients versus upselling your existing client makes more sense that's true right yep. so this is second tip again your LTV to CAC ratio again uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna repeat cost per acquisition uh, versus lifetime value, and this is to analyze whether you should put your money in returning uh, mm. visitor versus uh, new visitor. Right. All right. So tip number three for me would be uh, looking at your Google Analytics and going into this segment called affinity categories. This is something that's often overlooked by a lot of marketers uh, because you know you think of like trying to reach out towards new audiences uh, that sort of stuff, <laughs> but. And it's always important to look at the analytics data that you already have. Like, where are your top conversions coming from? What are the profile of these people? You know, what are they into? What's their age range? All these are the data that you are already sitting on if you have Google Analytics installed on your website. So once you look at your affinity category section, you can see all these pointers over here. Uh, maybe they are into automotives or they are into traveling, that sort of stuff. And that may or may not be even part or related to your business, but you know your audiences are into that. Then now as you run traffic on Google Display, for example, you can run your ads towards this group of audience. And I find that highly, highly valuable for the clients that we work with. So that for me is tip number three. Okay. Yeah. So the fourth tip, uh, fourth tip is yeah. uh, something that everyone is talking about now in town is chat conversation. Oh yeah, it's time, huge. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, a lot of people then ask us like, okay, I know all the chat bot, I know all the live chat is very cool. Yeah. So where should we place this? Yeah. All right. Obviously our advice is to place it on high value pages. Yeah. Um, and what I mean by high value means high traffic. Correct. Right? Yeah. So we are in turn trying to create a frictionless, mm. frictionless um, environment for our prospect to interact with us. Yeah. Because you guys are consumer yourself. Correct. You guys will want to buy a product without any friction, yeah. without as, as little intervention as possible uh, when it comes to sales prep yeah. because you are just trying to buy a low value product yeah. or a product that 
yeah, I mean, it's significant, but you just don't want to speak to anyone else. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah, like you guys have gone through like Facebook Messenger to purchase something or inquire about something. Yeah. So those um, live chat um, mm. are all strategically placed on high value and high traffic yeah. area, yeah. right? Uh, to basically like smoothen that sales process yeah. um, because as we know, uh, we want to put as little human beings um, on less intelligent required um, area. Yeah, let me give you an example, right? I think this is an important point that a lot of times people are missing out. So there was this client that we work with, mm. um, they are a school and you know school's website, they have a lot of information and the user journey, they will go on like different pages of, of the website and one of the things through the analytics that my team has found is that the top conversion paths, uh, if you haven't checked out and, and know what I'm talking about, just check the last video about top conversion paths. Um, so if you look at top conversion paths, one of the high value pages, uh, that means that you know, people before they actually convert to become a sales qualified lead, they would visit this page. And one of these pages that we identified is the apply now page where they will enroll and fill up all this information online. The problem is that when you try to enroll or apply for a school, you've got to fill up a freaking long form, right? And that takes you maybe 30 minutes, one hour, two hours, that kind of stuff. But this is where we realize it's a high value page. So what uh, we did for the school is that we just installed a live chat over there and that helped to tremendously boost uh, their conversions because we know that you know, that's like a, a friction friction fool, like you know, a yep. page that yep. you know, people just always get stuck at. Yep. Um, um, and therefore, you know, insert a live chat over there so somebody can help you with the, with the enrollment form. Because sometimes people just don't want to bother, they just want to apply and you, don't, you want to capture that convergence. Yep. So I think that's one of the beautiful things uh, about that. Yeah, I mean, totally agree on that, right? Yep. I mean, when was the last time you visited uh, an FAQ page? Oh right? my God. It will yeah. go through yeah. the series of questions, right? Yeah, you that's you true. never do that, right? Yeah. So when you are trying to buy something or engage with a brand, for example, yeah. you wish that there's someone there, but not physically there, yeah. but they can answer your query. Correct. So that's where your live chat panel should be. Correct, right? yeah. yeah. So that's tip number four. four. Right. Yeah. So numero five would be um, campaign analytics. So this one, if you're a HubSpot user, I absolutely love this because um, you know, marketers, we all freaking love campaigns, right? It's one campaign after another campaign after another campaign because one campaign is like one big idea and another campaign is another big idea. So one thing that's extremely underutilized, in my view at least, is campaign analytics because, you know, you have one campaign, uh, let's call it the, you know, uh, the Christmas campaign, for example, where you have like all the Christmassy content that you release out on your blog or maybe your pages. And then you can tag every page to a specific uh, campaign. Mm -hmm. And over time, you can then be able to see, okay, you know, I ran this campaign. These are like my top campaign pages. Mm -hmm. uh, these are all the contacts, uh, i.e., you know, what contacts mean is like people who are part of your database. Mm -hmm. So these are all the people uh, that's part of your database that has been influenced by the content in your campaign itself. So you know what has worked, what has not worked. So in your next campaign, you can do more of obviously what works and less of what doesn't work. Um, and I find that very, very valuable as well, that campaign analytics portion. So in other words, Marcus, you are saying that you are having all the marketing strategies, pages in one view, yeah. right? So um, whether you are running a Facebook uh, campaign, exactly, yeah. uh, whether you are running an email marketing campaign, yeah. whether you are running an SEO campaign, yeah. it, it's just a click of a button, you click into that campaign, yeah. and all these different strategies and tactics will be laid out over there, yeah. and the results of, for example, attraction, visitors, yeah. conversion, customers will lay out over there yeah. so that you're able to instantly compare channel uh, channel by channel, channel by channel in terms exactly. of performance yes right yeah. okay yeah i find it very valuable so uh, that's tip number five and uh, that's it thank you for watching this video thank you